A first listen to Dark Side of the Moon, part three, the great gig in the sky. What's up guys, I'm actually in Amsterdam at the moment, but I've made sure to leave you guys with some content while I'm gone. So for the next week, I'll be covering the Dark Side of the Moon album in full with each reaction leading into the next, apart from this little intro. And to celebrate when I'm back, I'll be doing a live stream on Twitch where we'll be watching together the dark side of the rainbow. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's the theory that the dark side of the moon was made to fit the movie Wizard of Oz perfectly, or is one of the greatest coincidences of all time. Regardless, we'll be finding out together. Let's see how well it fits. Um, bring whatever you need to enjoy the experience, wink, wink. And uh, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Other than that, enjoy the reactions. Okay, lastly, just as sort of a... Um, way I'll be approaching these reactions is to sort of take this music in as a collective, whether that be the themes or the interpretations that I take from each individual track. Usually when I cover a song, I'm just looking at that song and perhaps the context around what the song was, when the song was made. Whereas I'll be sort of looking this at this as a story or a entire piece and thinking of the themes and lyrics and how they fit the context of the other tracks before it or perhaps that are about to come. So that's sort of an insight into the way I'll be approaching these reactions. What's up guys? I'm actually editing at the moment and realized I'd forgotten to say that there's a link in the description to hit follow on my Twitch channel. I'm very close to 50 followers and so it would mean I'm close to becoming an affiliate on Twitch. So every follow would be very, very appreciated. Also, turns out about 90% of you guys are actually not subscribed to the channel. So if you are watching the content, please hit subscribe. It helps the channel grow tremendously. Other than that, I appreciate you guys watching. Peace out. Okay, straight into the next one. Great gig in the sky. Okay, I'm going to pause it really quick there. This is mostly a musical track, it seems like, um, from the lyrics I've got up here. But we spoke on the last one about um, Waters and Gilmore shining through. Well, it should be mentioned that the keys on this one are absolutely beautiful. And also the drum fills of the, of the drum player. Now, I want to make sure I recognize him correctly. Uh, Nick Mason. Nick Mason. 
Roma. Okay, awesome. Nick Mason, man, he's doing a brilliant, brilliant job throughout. Um, he's been sort of low key in a sense, but again, he's he's trying to aid the tracks each time. I feel like, um, and when he kicks in with his fills, man, he's got some great tr timing and restraint. Almost, he never goes too crazy, but always adding, adding to the music, adding to the atmosphere. Um, speaking on the atmosphere, this is a very um. Interesting change from the rest of the actual songs that I've been hearing, mainly because of the actual main singer here. Uh, this lady, who is her name is Claire Tory, amazingly soulful voice, very very soulful voice, and it's interesting that during the end of the last song that just passed was the idea of death and returning back to where you are before you're created. I guess you had a lot of religious imagery beforehand, the idea of the toll. Um, someone who had just passed away. Um, the way I take it is that she's almost like an angel, like you're in heaven now. And this is the sound of like an angelic voice kind of speaking to you. Um, you've got someone who's saying, why should I be frightened of dying? So think of all the concepts that have been covered so far. You have the idea of passing of time, uh, consciousness, life after death, life before death, sort of the beginnings of what would be madness that was on the run. Oh my lord, Think of, look how many subjects have been touched on already. Amazing stuff, man. Wow, that was absolutely beautiful, man. Um, again, to sort of go on where we are in the story, I believe this was like, um, I think it's called a procession when someone dies. And, you know, I've seen a lot of like black churches. There's generally like hymns and singing at the end of it. Perhaps this is representing that. The way I took it is also a possibly like, <clears throat> if this is the great gig in the sky, you know, when you return back to heaven, this is like the voice of an angel sort of speaking to you once you've returned back home, as they said, at the end of time. Um, <clears throat> I want to do justice to the piano player. I think his name is Richard Wright. Richard Wright is doing a brilliant, brilliant job on the keys. He's really bringing out the emotion of the song, which is uh, very mournful. Someone's passing away. <clears throat> 